Hello, good evening, everybody. We are on Build with Tanya, our normal Wednesday segment, but we're doing something a little different. This particular Wednesday, we're doing Behind the Mastermind. And I have a special guest to uh, bring on with you all. Hopefully, uh, Tech is cooperating with us and she's able to uh, hop on. Mm -mm, that's fine. Uh, sorry about that, guys. So hopefully she will be joining us. I, I don't see her on the back end uh, just yet, but I'll get going. So we're going to be talking to my guest about her business and how it has like transformed over the last year. And then we're going to be talking about the power of a mastermind, the power of a mastermind. So. Um, the thing about masterminding is I was masterminding before I understood the word, the terms, or the concept of masterminding. Uh, back in 2000, maybe, and you guys may hear, hear some background noise. Uh, yeah, Jaden, that would be great, dear. Jaden. Okay. Um, you guys may hear some background noise or whatever, so... The house is not all the way quiet yet. But anyway, I have been masterminding without knowing that that is what I've been doing. Back in 2000, maybe 11, I connected with, you know, I partnered with someone. We set some really major goals. I had about, guys, literally, I had things on my list. You all know the proverbial list of things to do, right? that have been on my list, some of them for two to three years, literally. And um, my, my guest is here. I'll bring her on in just a moment, but it's great to know that she's in the studio with us. Um, but those things have been sitting on my list for like two to three years. And I be, began using masterminding concepts and I set this 90-day uh, interval for getting things done. My friend and I both, and well, my mastermind partner didn't know that's what I could call it at that particular time, but I ended up getting about um, 22 things on my list done and only about 45 days of the 90 days had occurred. And I remember that because I did a video um, and it was posted on YouTube and I remember saying those specific things. And then later I started hearing about masterminding and I was like, man, you know, I have used some of the concepts of masterminding before, and I saw how powerful it was. So when I began to transition from owning my brick and mortar service-based business and uh, coaching and consulting full time, I knew it was like in the books for me that I would start a mastermind because I saw the power of it. I saw the power of connecting with like-minded individuals, remaining accountable, um, hearing new concepts, the energy of it all. And I did some research on masterminding and it's a principle or concept that's been going on for many, many, many years. There are many um, very extremely wealthy people who use masterminding concepts to, you know, the word they say now is like 10X, but it's just to increase the amount that they get done in a shorter amount of time. So what normally would take you five years by yourself, um, you get done in 90 days or 10 years alone, you get done in one year when there is a collective group of like-minded individuals with really high goals and who are really committed to getting those goals done. And so we're going to be talking about the power of a mastermind tonight, introducing my guests to you all, um, just letting you all know about her business, what she offers. And we're going to talk about the impact that she feels uh, masterminding have for her um, and her business. So I'm going to bring her on, on. Hope you guys are well. Let me do a quick introduction before we get moving. And number one, if this is your first time in a live training with me, um, put what type of business you own in the comments? Let me know how do you serve in the marketplace? How do people get to experience your gifts? I want y'all to put that in the comments. Number two, if this isn't your first time at the rodeo, you've been here before, maybe you're a client of mine, put hashtag renew in the comments. 
And guys, I just really believe that when God created us, um, he had the intentions of us um, going back to a renewed state of thinking about abundance, prosperity, peace, love, joy. And I believe our journey is to take us to that space. And so if we allow the process to work, we're being renewed all the time. But Renew Full Circle is the name of my business. It is also the name of a concept and the framework that I take my clients through to help them grow their business. So put hashtag renew in the comments. And thirdly, if this is whether it's your first time or not, there's a little button. Uh, Andrea, yes, hashtag renew. Thank you, dear. There's a little button. If you're on Facebook, it may be on your left hand side. I'm also on Periscope. Hello, Periscope. Say hello in the comments. Now, Periscope, I actually started live streaming on Periscope, you know, maybe a year or two before Facebook even had um, live streaming capabilities. So anyone who may be viewing me on Periscope, we go way back, right? Or maybe you're new. Anyway, um, figure out what your button is, um, be kind and share the broadcast out to someone else who could use the information. And I am sending... Um, I'm adding my guests as we speak. Let's see. Technology's been doing pretty good. Hey, girl. Hey. Hey. <laughs> How are you? Let me see I'm if I, can, um, I may have my volume a little low. Yeah, I do. Let me turn it up some. Oh, that's much better. So how are you this evening, beautiful? I am awesome. I'm so excited to be here. Wonderful. Um, take a moment to tell our guests who you are. So we see name in the bottom, Aisha K. Edmund, but talk about what you do, how you serve in the world and the marketplace, um, the name of your business and all the good things. Okay, so we have a visitor. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so um, my name is Maisha Edmond. I am a licensed cosmetologist in the state of New York. I am also a World Trichology Society certified trichologist. I am um, the founder and creator of um, Trichology 911 University, as well as um, the owner of Edmund Trichology. Um, I teach and mentor new trichologists and trichologists that are transitioning from, from the regular styling space to the trichology space. And I am a, what did you call me? A second <laughs> creator in trichology. So, um, yeah. Awesome. So I've been interviewing people maybe for since about March and for whatever reason, I've been led to ask them all this one question. And that is, what did you want to be when you were a little girl? And let me tell you the reason why. As I've been working with women, you know, to help them grow their lives and business, I've been noticing this thing, this connection um, from some of the things they may have wanted to do earlier in life to either where they are now or where they really desire to go. And I'm just trying to continue seeing how relative that is for most people. So do you remember having this thing that you wanted to be when you were a little girl? You do? Yes, I definitely and only wanted to be an international corporate lawyer. And I specifically wanted to be Claire Huxtable. Uh-huh. So for what was it about that particular... Um, career that you know made you have that desire um well claire she was you know uh the wife of a doctor but she still was very powerful she was always put together um she was fun she could sing but as far as as the the actual um being a lawyer it was just like that whole breaking things down you know like when i looked at her character she always broke things down to like the lowest common denominator she's going to tell you why it is what it is what it's for and like she always set things straight so i just figured that that's what lawyers did and that's what i wanted to do well i mean because i've worked with you i can see those same things happening even in what you do now as far as coaching because 
you simplify things, you give people systems, you know, in the trichology space to run their business, you pretty much break things um, down. So just curious, I asked that to all of my guests. And this evening, we're talking about the power of mastermind, um, as well as allowing my guests to experience, you know, who you are and how you serve in the marketplace. So Maisha was, is an alumni of the Exceptional Mastermind, and she did it 2018, 19? Yeah. Yeah. 18, 19. And I want to. I want you to share with them where you were before you joined the mastermind. So where where was your headspace, your business, all of that before you joined the mastermind? Okay, so before I joined, I was really trying to navigate trichology, but also my tech savvy, and mm-hmm. also being behind the scenes. <laughs> And okay. also being a mother. <laughs> and also, so it was like I had a bunch of gifts. I had a bunch of responsibilities. I had a bunch of talents. I didn't know what to do. And at the point where the mastermind was presented to me, I was like straight off of my first class where um, it was a paid class and I had to travel and then I had like the free class was next and it was standing room only. And there was this big thing. And I was like new into trichology, but I knew enough to um, impart knowledge into people. And I didn't know what to do next. And I remember reaching out to you like, oh my gosh, this is good. What do I do? What do I sell? How do I keep it going? Like, I didn't know where to go. I knew there was more, but I didn't have the business savvy to to really cultivate it. So, I mean, what I hear from you is very common. You know, you are not alone. So many of the people who come to me are usually visionaries like you. They have a lot of gifts and talents. And especially in the social media space, it's like, what do I do next? You know, should I launch this? Should I create this? You know, what should I sell it for? You know, how do I get to that next level? So to me, it's not an unusual conversation that I'm constantly hearing. Um, however, even in that space, I think, I believe you you uh, signed up for a business assessment or strategy call or something of that nature. And then I think I shared with you what I was going to do. I did not have a, a link I did not have a page. I was just sharing because I thought she would be an ideal candidate to become a mastermind member. And I was just kind of letting her know in advance what I was planning. And she insisted. She said, you got to give me a link. Like it's a limited number of people, you know, make sure I have my space. So the, the thing that's so significant that I would love to highlight and because we work together, I don't think it's a, a huge issue for you, but this was a sacrificial investment for you. Is that correct? Absolutely. Like I had never, um, I had come to the point where like, I'm always, I'm going to be in a class. I don't care. But when she said the price, I was like, oh, okay, well, I think, you know, it, it was a little big, but, you know, I was, I was like, I feel like if it's this big, I know that it's not going to be me being the same. And I just spent this money. So it was worth it. So, I mean, that's usually a hard jump for most people, right? Like to say, now this is sacrificial to me, but I'm going to do it anyway. So there had to be an aspect where, you had to trust yourself, would you say? Like, what yeah. was through through your mind? I, I think this is something that holds a lot of people back and that's investing for their next level. Um, and I, I really wanna dig into that because I feel it's going to bless somebody who is, um, who may have been taking a lot of smaller courses or, you know, getting bits and pieces here or there. Um, you know, how did you process that? Or you had already made up your mind. What, what was that? Yeah, it was really that I knew that I had um, been in the same space 
and had stayed in the same space. And I knew that the $150 classes, the, the $500 classes were awesome, but it was not enough to propel me to where I needed to go. And, um, but I did see a difference. And so I did quickly learn um, the importance of investing in myself. So um, I really always thank God that I was first. Because you um, and, and that's one thing I want to say sidebar is like, don't wait. You know, when you have the opportunity, jump on it right away, because when you're late. Yeah, it, you don't get the same perks. And so um, I was first. I was able to pay uh, special from others. And so I was able to see it. And even if I couldn't see it, I was like, I'm gonna make this happen. I'm gonna make sure this money is in the account every time it's time for it to be taken out. And so immediately when you told me what it was, you told me the deposit, I'm like, yo, take this deposit right now. Cause I had just come off of that class. So I had that money. And then you told me when it was gonna come and I was just like, okay. So I really started moving clients around so that if I had a client on this Saturday and they paid me via PayPal. I knew that money was going to sit in there and I didn't touch it because I knew that my payment was coming out on Monday. So I was very strategic about making sure that I, you know, was prepared. Now, I, I do. I want to say this because, I mean, I, I didn't know we were going to get that deep into this process of masterminding for you and the mindset, the shifts the thinking, you know, behind making an investment of that nature. Guys, I know when your time, when it's time to make a bigger investment, it's a lot of things that keep us, it's a lot of limiting beliefs that pop up. But I want to say that, um, you know, not everybody is always on time, you know. So as a coach or consultant, you are going to experience that if you offer installments and things of that nature. I mean, it ain't cool, but she never missed a beat. Like, you know, it was amazing. I didn't even know how sacrificial this was. And see, I think this is so important because to me that says that she didn't make this about me or my responsibility. She completely took full responsibility for what I, I didn't know that it was as sacrificial for her as it was until, you know, we kind of moved forward. So let's move to like the middle of masterminding for you. What was transpiring for you? Because we, we had like the beginning, how we felt the middle, the end, and then after during that middle time, how was that for you being in the group with other entrepreneurs? What did it do now? Now you guys noticed she created the money. Y'all yeah, don't hear me. She create now had it been something that was not as valuable to her, her mind may have said, you, you're not going to be able to come up with the money or you won't have the extra or it won't be available. But when you invest on yourself at another level, the way you make the way to make it happen. Right. So anyway, how was it for you towards the middle? What was the value that you were getting out of it or how are you feeling? So when I got to the middle, I really was focused on the end. Like, and I mean, like I was in it, but I was like, like, I got to get to the end of this because I know it's going to be amazing. Now, see, the thing about me and my husband was just talking about that today is like, if I'm in a class, it seemed like I'm not getting it. I'm just not getting it <laughs> right at the end. Then I get it. And I, you know, that's something that I'm really like constantly praying about because I want to get it sooner, you know, right. but I'm writing the notes and I'm taking it in and I'm measuring my life against what I'm learning. So in the middle, I'm measuring and I'm looking and I'm like, okay, she said, yeah. I'm going, <laughs> you know, three to five times my money and I'm going to do this and all of that. So I'm like, I got to stick it out. And, you know, it gets a little hard in the middle, but, but you, you know, like I've already made this investment. Like I got to make it work. Absolutely. So one of the, one of my desires for all of my mastermind members is that they at least three to five X their investment. Now I've had mastermind members who have done more than that, you know, with what they invested. Okay. So, I mean, 
But my my goal, and we all get an alignment in the beginning of the process um, in a way where everybody is thinking three to five X, right? Their income, right? And so um, it sounds astronomical, but it's so powerful when everyone is bringing that same energy to the table. And I remember specifically with Maisha, she'd had like an amazing, it may have been about 16,000 or something like that. I, something happened, you know, really well in her business. And then, you know, it kind of like um, slowed up, right? And so towards that end part, talk to them because I'm letting people know what's possible, what they may feel during the process, what could happen, you know, whereas, you know, there were some individuals who quadrupled their money in the first four months. So the experience is is different, but it's about alignment, guys. It really is about being in alignment with, you know, your investment. So let's kind of tell them about what was kind of happening towards the end. <laughs> OK, so towards the end, um, it was like really tough because like Tanya said, like it like slowed down. And um, I have to be honest, I feel like it was like more fear because I'm like, wait, this thing is almost over and I ain't rich yet. And so <laughs> I don't really think that we should be breaking up right now. I think that we should be together for a little longer. For a little longer. <laughs> so, you know, I really felt like, oh, snap, like I'm going to be out here and I done spent all this money in. <laughs> and, and really, it's like when you riding your bike. And your parent is holding the seat, and you good until you realize, hold up, dog, you left. You She's not holding on to the seat anymore. Where did you go? And then you start wobbling and stuff. So yeah. it's like, like, you either fall or you you put your leg down and get your balance and I recalibrate. Was, I was at the leg down balance. I didn't fall, but I was like panicking like a mug. So we had this crazy. Um, it was one of our classes, and I'm talking about a full <laughs> out legally blind breakdown. I had like, I don't have no money. I don't have it. And I'm all in front of the class. I got four whole kids and a husband. And I'm just because I'm like, I don't see it. And really, it was, I don't feel like I'm worthy. I don't feel like I'm able to do it. I don't feel wow. like. Like people will pay somebody else, but who's going to pay a Maisha what she's dreaming about? Who's going to pay somebody named Maisha, who middle name is Kiana? Who's going to pay her that kind of money? And so I started to panic. And I literally was like, yo, I'm not talking to this lady no Anymore. more. <laughs> so Maisha was hot with me, guys. Um, but I didn't change, you know, my stance. Um I believed in the program. I know if you do the work, um, it works. And I wanted to say you just had like a, a $16,000 month, like a month and a half ago. Do you, did you forget that? But anyway, um, I didn't say that. But I also know that one, you have to apply, you know, to be in a mastermind. So I chose people who I knew that what they already had, because I don't believe in just creating fluff, Right. I believe that we should monetize our expertise, something that we're good at or that we're becoming great at, not just something we've heard about. So, you know, everyone had to apply. So I knew the capabilities. I knew it was there for her. And um, and now we are at a space. And I, before we talk about that, I want to ask you how. So one of the things we do inside the mastermind is we do a lot of mindset trainings. Um, how have those impacted you? Do you still find value or um, do they still come back up in your remembrance? How important was the mindset piece to, to the mastermind? The mindset piece, and like I said, like with me with classes, like it'll click later and I'll be like, oh, okay. So um, you had us um, like writing certain things and, you know, talking about gratitude and talking about debilitating beliefs on um, money blocks and mind blocks. And um, it wasn't until I was done, like I knew I had like a poor relationship with finances, but I didn't know how bad it was or that I needed to do something about it until it was over. So 
like affirmations and different things like that. Like your words literally have power. And listen, I am exceptional. Okay. When I started, you know, it was little stuff like I would I just started saying, I am Long Island's premier psychologist. And literally now everybody comes to me like people are coming like from Connecticut saying, well, I put in your I put in trichologist and you popped up, or a dermatologist told me to come to you. And I'm like, I don't even know this dermatologist, but I'm literally saying psychology is easy. I'm literally saying I don't have obstacles, I have opportunity. And so it was like really shifting the mindset. Um, and those um exercise really helped me beautiful because guys we don't get what we want we get what we believe we do not let me i'm gonna put that one in the comments we don't get what we want we get what we believe now i should have had my readers on because we get what we believe okay And let me see if I have to show that. Yep. I just want, I want to highlight that, guys, because so many of us want a lot of things, right? I mean, all of us can think of something that we've said that we want it, but it's not really into the point where you actually believe it, that it really transpires. And when I talk about renew all the time, for those of you who are believers, we know that the scripture says, for we are transformed by the renewing of our mind. So when I'm talking about affirmations, I actually have um, an affirmation guide called Policing Your Thoughts. A lot of people take um, affirmations for granted. People take gratitude for granted. For instance, if you've been having a, a God awful day, maybe God shouldn't go in front of that. That didn't feel right in my spirit. So maybe you've been having a bad day, right? Um, and at, all day you've been complaining about what's wrong, what didn't go right. If you take just a moment at the end of your day and think of five things that you're grateful for, it will shift your energy. It will shift your thinking and your mindset. And see, we're attracting things all the time. If we complain all the time, if we are, you know, walking in doubt, that is one of the reasons why we go through these cycles of, you know, feeling a little blessed today. And then, you know, a few weeks later, we're not because there's no consistency in our I am, right? Um, or the I am that we are saying is not in alignment with what we truly desire. And I know we're talking about mastermind and we did marketing, branding, we did all the things, guys. But I say all the time, it doesn't matter. Although I feel my strategies are amazing, right? So I'm not taking anything from that. But irregardless of how amazing the strategies are, if your mindset is not in alignment with what it is that you desire, if you really don't believe it, it doesn't transpire, right? So this is why oftentimes we don't make the necessary investments in our life and our business. I want you to hear the next time you have an opportunity, right, to really invest in yourself on another level. How many of you, you know, your desire is not less than six figures, right? You want six figure plus, you know, maybe you have million dollar um, goals. You all put me in the comments if I'm speaking to the right audience. I, I want to know that I'm speaking to the right audience first, right? But th those are just things that you say if you don't really believe it's possible. And when you believe it's possible, you get in alignment with the things that are really going to make it happen. So we're talking about money mindset and limiting beliefs and things like that. How many of you think you're going to pay $97 and earn a million dollars? I mean, it's just not even realistic. It doesn't even sound realistic. It doesn't sound like something that's $97 has the capabilities to even three to five X my business. I mean, not that that information is invaluable, not that it isn't a piece of information that you may need, but where does it fit in the scheme of all of the brand and business building specific for your business? So when you really, really believe that's when you invest on the next level. If you don't, we don't take action on what we don't believe. Let's, that's like this. Say you guys are dating, right? Or, you know, you kind of met a dude or whatever. And, um, you know, he's telling you all these different things that you guys are going to do. But it requires you to move to a completely new city, stay, you know, just kind of uproot your life. If you don't believe in him, 
what are the chances of you actually uprooting all you're not right because we only take action on things that we really believe right um and i was trying to give you guys an example that you know will really register and stick and most of us you know have had some type of relationship or desire to have some type of relationship so we only um we build what we believe and we only take action on what we believe. And it's not about what we want because we can want things all the time, but we have to believe it. So one of the things that we, uh, maybe a third of my trainings are a high level mastermind trainings where we go really deep on thinking and mindset because I understand that the strategies that I'm sharing, there has to be a shift. And so if you're continuously repeating the thing that you desire as if it already is, eventually what happens on the inside of you, you start saying, okay, wait a minute, I'm saying this, but my life ain't looking like this. So you, you're either going to fall away from it or you're going to get in alignment with it, right? You either fall away from it and that's because you still lack belief that it's possible or you get in alignment with it. And you start asking yourself, what does being in alignment with these I am statements I'm saying look like, right? You either get tired of saying it and not seeing it, it manifest, or you figure out what is it that I need to do to get in alignment? Who do I need to be connect, connected with? And when we talk about connectivity and masterminding, it's so powerful. I mean, you have amazing, ambitious individuals from all over with all of these ideas and concepts and they're sharing and they're giving. And then we have, you know, of course, a, a structure. So we talked about how you felt before in the middle and kind of towards the end. Um, what was your biggest takeaway? What, how, what shifted the most for you, you think, from the mastermind without telling all the strategies too much? You yeah, know? Um, I think that, um, one of like the overall things was that um, I didn't shy away from the pain. Mm. So I was at a point of pain. And so it's almost like being in labor. So when you get enough pain, you know, and that contraction hits hard enough, you're going to bear down and you're going to push. And mm. so um, if I didn't push, I would die. And that's mm -hmm. also like in labor. And so when I got to that point of pain um, of like knowing that it was possible, but not able to touch it, knowing it was all around me, but not being able to actually live it, that's mm -hmm. what made me say, okay, go back through these chapters, go back through these modules, print this stuff out again, put it in a whole nother book and look at it again because you can't be all taught. You know, so, I mean, I can't really get into it without giving stuff away, but I can say that um, the mastermind was literally like a mirror or a light shining on me to say, this way you coming up short, stop making excuses. You know, yeah, you made the step to invest, but now what are you going to do with it? And really taking that step to say, Use this stuff excuse me, because it's worth a whole lot of money. So you got to make it worth that money to you. You know, I'm not just out here trying to get out money. I got all these kids. Y'all know how many kids I got? I got so many kids. I don't know how to do this because I got all the kids. So I'm literally like, you got to put it. And you know, you got to see the difference. What I love the most was one of the things we do is get like really clear on who you are. And one of the things Maisha did not want to lose was her sense of humor. And I say, you don't have to, right? And so the way we, um, you know, really got clear on her brand was identifying that thing about her and saying, hey, this is perfectly okay. This, this may be that thing that creates a lane for you in the world of trichology. <clears throat> So then we move forward and um, your life has changed. Yeah. So I'm gonna step off for a second, I'm still here, but can you talk to them about how your life has changed? If you're not shy about finances, you can go there, um, but just some of the things that you've experienced. Okay. So um, one of the things that um, I've definitely experienced is being able 
to what what um Tanya said was to create money, create money. And so um I remember one time I was like, you know, I really want to make this amount of money. It wasn't for a specific thing, but I was like, you know, I really want to make this amount of money. I saw that I had some workbooks left from a class that I had done. And so I said, okay, um, remembering something that Tanya taught us about re reverse engineering. I looked at the, the um, books. I saw how many there were. I said how much I wanted to make. And that's how I decided how much I was going to um, charge per class based on the books. And so I put myself together a flyer. I went, you know, little Canva flyer and I put it out there. I had already had information put together. And so I decided I'm going to do this. I'm going to create this money. And so I literally put it out there the first day. It didn't happen, but I kept um, advertising the class. And one day I'm and let me let me interject. I'm glad you said you kept because that was one of the things you and I were kind of like, you were like, but I did the work. And I was like, but how many times? Right. Like, you got to keep doing the work. It's going to hit this, um, you know, the momentum is going to increase. It's like the compound effect and it's, it's just going to shift, you know, and you have to believe that. So it's good to hear that you said, because that's a mindset shift that most people have to make in their process, right? Because what they may consider doing the work may be once every two weeks. And right. I think I heard the example. I said, in the beginning, I broadcast live four times a week, right? Now I do once a week, right? But you, you have to create that momentum. And so um, everybody's idea of work is not the same. It doesn't mean you all have to live stream, you know, four or five times a week. Maybe blogging is your thing or podcasting or you know, we figure out what your flow is. And most people don't know what their flow is. So they're trying to do all the things. And that's why they're overwhelmed. But when you get brand clarity, you're like, okay, this is my lane. And when you get that space of comfort, you can commit to it and do it on a more consistent basis. So I'm sorry. I hope you can no, that's up where you were. But I just wanted to interject. Hopefully you guys are, you know, picking up what we're putting down and you're you're learning something, you're seeing yourself within this and you're like, okay, I got to figure out what my thing is and stop doing all the things. Right. You created this thing and yeah. I put it out there. You said it didn't, you know, jump off, you know, that first day and you kept right. going. So with that, um, and I want to address that when you said keep doing it. Um, before I would do it once and then you'll be in my inbox like, um, but did you use the first 17 strategies I gave you? And I'm like, I did it, but it didn't work. And so when I got to this point where I had created this class and um, you know, I decided I want to do this thing, what you learn is um, when you keep doing it, you'll learn to do it faster. You don't let that time lapse. So like, you know, like you'll do something and then you'll wait and you'll say, well, I'll go ahead and try it again. If you didn't buy my class today, when I say keep doing it, I'm posting it again today and I'm posting it again tomorrow and I'm going live about the class. I'm talking about the class and then I'm posting it again. So my reaction time is quicker. It built that muscle. And so needless to say, before the week was over, because I put the class out on Wednesday, I was sold out and hit my mark and a little bit over that for a Monday class. Now this, okay, don't be like me because Tanya tells you they got to see you for a few weeks and all that other stuff, but I just wanted to try it. I'm talking about I went hard. Because we had, we had this conversation. I said, it works. If you want it to work faster, you do it more. Right. If, if you, if you want to do it once, if you only want to come on once a month, you know, especially when you're attempting to, well, when you get clear, first of all, because what most people are saying is I've been marketing for six years now, right? But you've been marketing an unclear message. You've been marketing a whole lot of different things. So the audience is confused. But once you get clear in your mind, you have to, I, you know what I always do, guys? I always assume that nobody knows me. 
Me too. <laughs> I always assume that nobody knows me. I, I have a video with maybe about 40,000 people I'm still getting clients from today on YouTube. I always assume that no one knows me because there are, what, 7 billion, however you know, many people in the world, and I have something amazing that will help a large portion of them, right? And so it's not like, oh, Lord, because see, that all of that is limited thinking. Let me put that in the comments. It's limited thinking. And when you're thinking from an abundant space, you're always thinking there are more people for me to serve. There are more people who need what I have. And sometimes with social media, we have this thing, well, you know, the same people see me all the time, right? Not thinking that every day there's someone who hasn't experienced my message, who doesn't know how I can help them, who doesn't know how I can serve them, Maybe, just maybe, this person didn't even see me yesterday, and this is absolutely positively what they need. So I always act as if nobody knows me, okay? So you, you, you know that thing really works, um, you taking on that mindset. Because I said, girl, you ain't even that special if people just know you. You better get out here and do this work. And when I do the work, I, I, I literally get new followers every single day. There is not there is not a day that I don't get a new follower. There there is because I'm always showing up. It whether it's live or not. Yes. And so some people are thinking follower, but their mind is on 10,000, you know, 100,000 followers. Guys, many of my clients are six figure plus and they may not have a thousand people on Instagram, right? And so I think it's because we're looking at the wrong metrics. We're measuring the wrong things, right? One, our pricing is so low that even if we did, you know, get 10 people to convert over into an offer or something that we have, we're so disappointed. We feel like we did so much work. But guys, it takes just as much energy to sell a $47 product as it does a $9,997 product. It's the same amount of energy, right? Um, because what's what really is the um, the the catalyst to all of it is you speaking to the right individual. Because if you're speaking to the individual who's willing to invest in themselves on a ten thousand dollar level, um, then the energy is the same. However, sometimes the energy is even more when you're trying to sell the $47 product, because oftentimes people who are still only purchasing on that level, um, they're, they're afraid to spend the $47, right? So there's a lot of fear behind that. They normally are the hardest people to serve. And I'm just keeping it 100 with you all, right? They usually ask the most questions. They do the least work. Let's, I mean, can we go there? So I help my clients build premium products right? And build premium brands, attract premium clients and get premium profits. And they work smarter and not harder. It's the same energy, guys. I promise you. Maybe even harder um, attempting to get someone who just does not believe in investing in themselves to spend $47 or $97. But especially when you, it's only $47. Like people looking at that, like whatever, like they not coming to class they not doing the work. They don't show up. They don't get the information. You like, what in the world? It's like when you do it, a cheap hairstyle. It's like, could you lay these baby hairs down, miss? You know, <laughs> like, come on. So it's the same thing. And like, I had to learn that even, even when you're doing like, um, you develop a premium thing and you're like, oh, I'm going to do it for a beta. And you do your beta too low. When you miss price and you do it too low, people don't show up. They got all these excuses. Now you can't even get your little testimonials or nothing because it was too cheap. There's they no didn't finish it. They, they didn't even finish it. Right. right. And see, guys, you got to get to the point. There's something that happens when you invest on another level. It happens within you because you're, I mean, I'm guilty. I bought, so podcasting is something that I'm going to do. I'm a systems girl, right? If I don't have to try and figure that thing out, like taking five years, I don't. So I purchased a program that walks me through it. 
I haven't looked at the program. I showed up for the live, live coaching call because it had a course to go with it. Um, but I haven't, sh I haven't looked at the program yet. I will. And it'll be like right before, you know, I actually get ready to launch or whatever. But had I invested more, right, it was only 97 bucks. I would have been opening that thing. I know it's just something we as people don't always value free. Now, I will say there are podcasts that I listen to. There are um, influencers that I listen to that I look for their PayPal link to so because it was so it just blessed me so much. Right. So I'm not saying that there is no value in free. There is value and there's a space in your branding and marketing for free. There's a space for that. But until you remember, we said we if we don't believe it, right, we're, we're not going to achieve it. So if you don't believe that what you're doing is valuable enough, a lot of people don't understand what their services and products are really valued at, you know, in the marketplace. And so when we think our stuff is invaluable, we, we're not even going to invest on that the level that we really need either. All of it is belief, guys. All of it is belief. So can we. Share maybe like some um, some revenue um, blessings Absolutely. that have occurred for you um, from the mastermind. So Absolutely. Would you say you three to five x your business um, from the mastermind? I'm a, I'm gonna just go. I'm just go ahead and say ten. I'm just going to say ten. I'm just going out there, saints. In Facebook land, I'm gonna go on and say 10. Yeah. It's, true. it's true. Like um I I have priced low and I've taken that same information and taken it to another room. So you know your, your information is valuable. You you discredit yourself by by charging too low, and then you just go ahead and um change the price shave some of that stuff off. I had something that was, like I said, was in beta. It was an eight week course and it was 16 case studies. And when, like the way I priced it, people was coming, they wasn't coming, you know, all that other <coughs> stuff. As soon as I broke that thing down to four weeks, raised that price all the way up because I know what it does and I know what it has the power to do. People like fight me to get in this course. And literally, when people are in clinicals for trichology, they like, listen, if I didn't, we were the only ones in clinicals for trichology that didn't have a blank stare on our face because of what you taught. And I'm like, girl, you know what you're doing. Like, exactly. You know? And a lot of times when we're creating products, services, courses, things like that, we try to add 5,000 things to it, Right. But someone who's willing to invest on it, they, they kind of know what they want. Like with the mastermind, <laughs> you create your signature course or program. Most people want that added stream of revenue. Um, you go through the team hiring track. For those, that's for those who are ready to you know, start hiring. They want help. They want to duplicate their services. They want you know, to, to go to the next level. It's specific. It's not 5,000 different things that we're going to do. And the value, one of them alone is the, is the value of the course, you know? Yeah. And so you guys have to understand the psychology of who your client is. Now, I will say that there are very successful brands that are low priced. Okay. As well. So I'm not saying that um, you can't have lower priced services and be successful, but you have to think about how many you need in order to hit the income goals or in order to sustain the business. And it's perfectly fine if you have the systems and the manpower to do it. Cause we can think about Walmart. They do it, you know, all the time, right? Um, extremely successful. It's just that I teach people to build premium products. That's that's my lane that I rock out in, attract, attracting premium clients. My clients want time freedom, right? right. They don't want to work harder. They want to work smarter. And many of my clients want to give extreme value. And normally when you got like 500 people, let's just be honest. If you join, when you join a course and there's 500 or a thousand people or whatever, 
what are the chances that you get any individual, you know, attention? You might get your question in, you know, a coaching session or or whatever, Um, which is fine. You go back and you can continue to watch the replay over and over and over again. But when I talk about premium pricing and services, we talk about pricing your products and services um, and then giving extreme value with it. But extreme value it doesn't mean a whole lot of stuff. So some people have tons of things on their service menu. I have a designer um, who's one of my clients. We broke the thing all the way down. We're not doing She's not designing 50 different things, right? She has customized specialty things. And when we think about a physician, right, when we go to our normal family physician, if we have something that the physician physician doesn't handle, where does where do they send us? To the specialist. They send us to the specialist. And if you guys think about it, the specialist normally earns more. The copay for the specialist off gate. You already see this is getting ready to be something different. This is on another level because that person has simplified their process. This is their thing. This is what they do. And this is what they focus on. So one of the things we do is get really, really clear on what your premium product or service is, right? Does that help you guys? Hopefully that helps you guys. So um, are you experiencing 10K months at any point? Um, I remember in the mastermind, there was, I can't remember what it was. I think it was your... um, Um, the insurance. So tell us about the insurance process for you and and how that works. Um, You mean as far as billing insurance? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So um, I would just um, bill like, so um, I get the client in, um, you know, get the information. Um, I run their EOBs or the explanation of benefits. I see where I can, bill it medically and then I submit the claim and the insurance company pays me. Okay. So I remember we had a time where you had like a big month because of that <clears throat> particular strategy that we were focusing on. So when we're talking about you 10xing your income, I see I don't know where how comfortable we are because everybody doesn't like to talk about revenue or or money. My issue is doing really well. Let, let's just say <laughs> doing really well. So what are some of the things you've been able to do because your life has changed? Um, well, one of the things that I wanted to do was to be able to take care of my mother. And so um, that's like huge for me because um, if anybody know, and if anybody will listen, you already know, she ain't easy, you know, and I, I didn't, <laughs> She ain't easy, sis. And we didn't, you know, I didn't grow up with her, like primarily as my grandfather raised me. And um, I'm an only child. And, um, you know, it was just like like a thing of mine. Like, okay, I'm an only child. So I'm that only somebody in the world that um, he has. And so I know how I would feel to know that a child that I pushed out, you know, one of my friends, you know, would not help me if I needed to. And so um, during the mastermind, um, I had a vision of how great I would be after this mastermind and how I would just be able to take care of my mama and buy her stuff. And even if she mad at me, I'd be like, so what? Your groceries is outside. And today, (laughs) today, no lie, is the first day I was able to to have the uh, groceries delivered to her front step today. Um, all weekend, I have been sending stuff to her because she had just moved. I put money in an account that I have made for her every single Tuesday. And even if she's not grateful, even if she never says thank you, even if she doesn't acknowledge me, it's not because of that. I promise that I would be able to do it to myself. Yes, um, yes. And, and honestly, she's in my budget. Mm. And I've, I've been able to take care of my own mother who did not necessarily 
take care of me. And I promise you, it feels so amazing. So I was able to go online. I grocery shopped for her last night. The food was delivered today. I still put her money in her account on Tuesday. I still bought her a few little things, you know, little Amazon Prime delivery to her house. And I would not have been able to do that if I did not invest on the that level because you can you can pick all the free stuff you want, but by the time you finish gathering it up, that season has passed. And so um, I've been able to um, buy cleats for kids on my son's football team. And I've been, um, my coaching clients, some of them are on watching us now. I sent them planners from Tiffany's. I'm so, like, I'm so blessed and I'm so excited. And you, you grow where you sow. So, so when you sow into your business, you grow there. And then when you, and, and even the Bible says that, and I mean, I know we're not preaching, but it says that God gives um, seed to the sower and bread to the eater. And Lord knows I can eat. Okay. <laughs> I've got to have bread, but mm -hmm. to be able to sow, to be able to be a consistent tither, to be able, I mean, just the things that I'm able to do and to make a difference in clients' lives, whether they pay me or not. You know, when people come to me, because now I'm so used to being prosperous, you ask me a question, I'm not like, how much you gonna pay me first? And let me send you an invoice. I'm There's answering. freedom. There is freedom when you get the money thing right. Now, you guys know the word says money answers all things. Now, I believe that the revelation of that is way deeper than I could ever, you know, dig deep into. But I definitely am able to see um, how it aligns just with our life. And when you are operating from a space of scarcity, you normally don't even do the things that will bring in the wealth. Like Maisha said, you'll be hurried you know, there's like this desperation that it removes the whole flow that that the energy of money brings. Right. Um, but when you are in that space of abundance and it's just flowing, there's a belief. Right. So we've learned the systems, we've learned the processes and we've learned it full circle. So we not just we not only learn branding and marketing, but we connect it with wealthy things within our mastermind, which is important. Your environment is, is huge, guys. We were in a space where we could talk about money. The mastermind members, some may not have been as far ahead in getting in alignment, but they were seeing people making money. And they're like, okay, look, wait a minute. If this thing is, the environment is everything, guys. And sometimes we're just not in the right environment for what we really uh, desire to transpire. You know, Wait, even uh, when when you um, when we went to Asheville, North Carolina, I mean, private chef, like these condo apartments, you know that you that we're staying in the 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 atmosphere how green the grass was i mean <laughs> just everything about it go into the space where we where we would learn and we're on the rooftop and the chef came there and we're outside looking over this big city this little town that we never been to but knowing that like you literally sat us on top of the world you know what i'm saying like all right this is what you're learning this is what you're going to be able to do. These are the strategies that you that you have to um, um, implement. You're going to be able to do this too. You're going to be able to stand on top. You want to be able to go to the exclusive places and do the exclusive things. And it's like all about changing your environment. I know you were talking one time about, you know, one day go to a store or ride through a neighborhood or go someplace that you don't usually go and just kind of like soak in that atmosphere. And that's always been like something that I did. But what I realized was that those things weren't as far fetched as we made them. Not so, at all. Not at all. It's yeah. like, I was acting like that was so, you know, that's kind of when the shift happens. Um, and guys, it happens in your mind first. It does not happen. It does not manifest in the natural. 
until it manifests in your mind, right? Because we only take action on what we actually believe, right? And so we do a lot of different things in, in the mastermind to help shift our thinking, our mindset. Um, and, and I understand my clients so well, right? So it's a lot of programs you may coach every single week. We don't coach every week. We don't coach every week. We coach once a month. Once a month throughout that year because one, many of the women I work with are, are busy, right? They're busy. And if you give Im impactful, uh, the, if the information is impactful enough, if it's transformational enough, if it's life-changing enough, you don't have to talk to people every week or every day, right? So I coach once a week in this mastermind. I do have private opportunities for people to speak with me outside of the coaching. You know, they can schedule each person's um, investment comes with private time to work with me as well. But we, I just give really impactful information in our coaching sessions that are transformational. And most people are consumed from a whole lot of little stuff. Can't even finish. It's, it's too much. Listen, sim simplify everything, guys. Simplify um, everything. Um, Andrea says, uh, what's not far off at all, Andrea? Not far off. Oh, okay. What Maisha was stating. Right. I mean, we, we look at our next level as if it's like so far away, but in actuality, it's not, guys. And when we shift our mindset, when we say, you know, I deserve to be in an environment that's learning on a higher level. I deserve to stop getting all the crumbs. Right. It's all a shift. It's all um, a shift. So, Maisha, let our audience know how you serve um, in the marketplace. And I want to share this with you all because I'm very aware that um, there are many beauty industry professionals who are watching me. However, I work with numerous industries, right? I have an ideal customer. I have a perfect people, but not a specific industry, right? And so I help women who, um, you know, want to brand build and profit. They want to create a business that works for them and not they work for the business. Uh, one that funds their lifestyle, not run their lifestyle, right? And people that want to get their time back. So if you want more clarity in your business, you want to make more money and you want to get your time back, um, that is what I do. Build in premium products and services. My clients aren't working um, extremely hard, right? their diligence and diving deep and just continuously getting better at what they're good at, at their level of expertise and, um, and, and their gifts. Uh, but talk to the audience about um, what you do, uh, Maisha. I just wanted to let people know that um, I have several clients. I have an author that is actually on my list for Tuesday um, in a private section. Um, so don't feel like this is limited for those of you who come on and you're watching and you um, don't hear a space for you. It's there. So um, I um, am training new trichologists, um, those that may be in school, those that are just newly out of school and transitioning um, stylists that are looking to work in the trichology space. I um, teach the business behind the business. Um, I'm teaching systems in trichology that's making money and letting you know that trichology is easy. I'm allowing you to see, um, you know, that it's not a hustle, but it's a lifestyle. And it happens to be a Tiffany's kind of lifestyle. Um, I am always um, organizing and systematizing um, what trichology is. And I'm showing you that um, also it is something that can be done with ease. I have um, decided to only do um, 10 regular styling clients because um, I love hair, but I am 90% trichology. Um, and so that's what I do. Um, I do still do trichology for clients. 
Um, I have a velvet rope. So the only way that I'm doing um, a person's hair now is if they pay for the consultation, a full consultation to come in for hair restoration. Um, and so, and I teach um, people that I, I do classes, I do courses for trichology and um, that's where I'm at. Beautiful. I'm just so happy for you guys, irregardless of what your expertise is or if you're unclear about your brand and all of that. I believe that what all of us are searching for is new levels of freedom, whether that is the freedom to take care of our parents who we feel have done so much for us, whether that is the freedom to be off two months out of the year. So one of the things I did um, when I was creating my business, because I'd had a business prior I said, I hear people saying they'd be taking a month off. Like, is, is that? And Okay, I think we're still live. Um, she's just buffering. So she'll be back. Um, but yeah, just be encouraged, everybody. You know, um, like it, it's, it's easy. Making, making your money is easy, you know, no matter where you are um, in the industry and what industry you're in. Um, prospering is easy. It's not like all about the money, but you get that fulfillment. So what you desire and what you have dreamed about what your business can be is absolutely positively possible. Um, I'm living it and I was so far from it. I didn't think that it could happen. And so, because I know that it can happen, I often, um, always every day encourage others to know that it can happen and it will happen. Just keep going. And, um, I did a post today and the post said, that um, there are people who are less talented than you, less skilled than you, um, that are doing, um, okay, there are people that are less talented you than you, less skilled than you, um, and not as smart as you, but they're living the dream life that you want to live, right? And the thing is, the only difference between you and that person that's living the dream life is that they made a decision and they did not make excuses. And so I think that the whole gist of this live is make a decision and do not make excuses. Do not they continue to make a decision going. and they did not make excuses. So thank you. <laughs> we work so well together. So um, I know, I mean, you just feel right in. So guys, my battery goes out on my laptop and normally it'll say low battery and then you have like, you know, a couple, at least a minute. It said low battery click. I said, oh, okay. So I'm grateful that you guys were, were able to stay on. Does anyone have any questions before um, we end? Does anyone have any questions? I'm going to uh, put the link to the mastermind in the comments. I am actually accepting applications for 2020, 2021. So we, um, we have an opening uh, group coaching call in December that kicks off 2021. I'm taking applications for that now. Um, for those of you who are interested, I'm going to put the link in the comments. It further explains what is included in the mastermind, but I think experience or hearing someone else's um, experience always helps um, to see if that's something that is in alignment with you or something that you desire. For those of you who um, you know, maybe you're close to your six figure mark or, or beyond, you need systems in your business. So you understand like I'm busy, but I can't take this thing to the next level, the way that I'm doing things now. If you need systems to hire a team, um, if you are at the space where you want another stream of revenue, most people, guys, we can hustle our way to six figures. Somebody put that in the comments. We can hustle our way to six figures, but sustaining it becomes a problem. 
And most people take one of two directions when they're like right on the brink of their six figure mark or they're there. They kind of like stay there. And we know that whatever isn't growing is dying. Somebody put that in the comments. Whatever is not growing, it's dying, right? And so what normally happens for those of us who kind of like hustled our way there and, you know, we didn't necessarily have systems and things in place, we either become overwhelmed because, you know, it's just so much going on. We start missing um, opportunities with clients. We start missing emails. We start missing things that start impacting our brand. That's because we've hustled our way there, but we really don't have the systems in place. We become overwhelmed and we do one or two things. We either say, okay, I'm not doing this, or we just settle for where we are, or we decide to go to the next level. So if I'm talking to you and that's you, you have a bigger vision and you really know you want to take your business to the next level, you need the mindset shifts that it takes to make it happen. So maybe you heard some spaces where you've been having limited thoughts or you've been thinking from a space of um, scarcity thinking, um, the mastermind, we talk about mindset tremendously in the mastermind. Of course, we do strategies. I have a client who um, created systems for her signature product, and she has now taught that product to a nonprofit organization in over 15 counties, just in the state alone um, that she lives in. So it's so much opportunity, but guys, you have to believe that there is a bigger space and a bigger opportunity for you. Because if not, investing doesn't make sense. So if you don't really believe that there's something bigger or greater um, for you, investing will not make sense. Um, I only want individuals who are really serious about growing. It's important. The energy is important to you know the group. Um, I want people who are coming with their A game to join. And those who feel, um, I don't want people who feel it has to be perfect because that's, it's, that's not realistic, right? And what the mastermind is for is those days when you, you can't bring your A game. That's what your mastermind partners are for, right? That's what that energy uh, is for. That's what they're thinking and their mindset and the shifts that they remember that maybe you just can't grasp hold of it right then like Maisha was towards the middle Right. But when you have accountability partners and you have access to me, you know, as a coach, even outside of that coaching call. Now, our coaching call that we do, it's, it's not a one hour call, though. <laughs> we in that job for like four hours. Yeah. Um, but for those of you who are really ready and you're like, listen, I've, I've sat here long enough. I've been twiddling around with it. Apply. Um, we'll hop on a call within the next 48 hours to see how this is in alignment with what it is that you desire to do. And if you're in alignment with, you know, what it is that we offer in the mastermind, I'd love for you all to, and see, the thing is, if you can't even bring yourself to apply, right? If you, in your mind, you're like, you know what, this is ideal. This is what I need, but you can't bring yourself to apply, then there is still a limiting belief operating somewhere, right? So for those of you who are ready, you're interested, um, I, did I put the link? Let me put the link up. Yep, you put it in. I did? Okay. Um, so let's see if I can do it this way. Are there any questions? Anybody have questions? Anything else you want to share? Did you give them your website, <clears throat> Maisha? You oh, I did. It. My website is... Um, in the comments too? I'm sorry? You want to place that in the comments as well? Oh, yep. Yep. I'll put it in right now. So how many of you are at a space where um, you feel it's time for a new revenue stream? How many of you feel it is time dates of the mastermind. It's a year-long opportunity. Enrollment is um, open now. And um, our first call is like December. It's uh, what's going to transpire after you apply. We do a about a 75-minute private one-to-one -one call. So it's not with the group. Uh, where we really look at your business. When you leave that one call, 
you're going to have a 90 day strategy before the mastermind even starts. Right. Um, so we really take time to kind of assess where you are, what your needs are. If you get if you've gotten past the application, then we know that you're a great fit. But I just take that time to privately um, work with you and kind of give you uh, the mindset shift that you need for where we're heading individually for your business. Um, then in December, we do like an introduction, all of the mastermind members from all over. We meet, um, we kind of go over uh, logistics and, and things of that nature. And then we start fresh in January. But enrollment is open now. It will close once I've met my quota. Um, so it's open now for those of you who are interested and you think that this is something that you could benefit from um, and you would be in alignment I would love to hop on a call with you. So that's how it works. You put in the application and then 48 hours, we hop on a call and talk about um, any questions that you might have about the process or, or anything. Does anyone have any questions? Um, Denise said, what are the dates? I answered that, that we were um, actually, enrollment is open now and it'll close once I've gotten um, it full, and we'll go from there. Any other questions, guys? How many of you are looking for a new revenue stream? You have a level of expertise, or maybe you're not clear on it, but you know that you want another revenue stream that allows you to earn more and work less. Is there anyone in the audience in that space? So let me put this up one more time. This is the link for those of you who are interested to apply. So I am Tanya Wilson Cherry. This was behind the mastermind. And actually, this is our second time, guys. So we attempted to do this um, interview before, but I believe everything is perfect because new things have transpired from her even since we, I mean, and she was doing amazingly well. I was so happy for her even at that space. But she just continues to grow and grow and grow. And one of the huge things I do want to share with you all that I remember was us getting really clear on who she was as a brand, what her superpowers really were. And do you think that made a big deal in the process that you're doing now? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, because um, when you are in a mastermind, you're in a, a program like that um, where a where a person is not only skilled but anointed to to um like excavate that kind of stuff you don't you don't leave doing everything so you you, you come in a flea market and you leave a boutique if that makes sense you come in as a flea market you know you get shoes french fries <laughs> hair clips nail polish and then you leave out a boutique we only got this bag, we only got this dress, and it only come in two, four, six, and eight. So there's a complete difference. You don't do everything, you know, and I, I think that's really, really important. I love it. I mean, what I'm saying I love now is because I remember Maisha saying, listen, I'm funny. I know that trichology has a lot of big words and, you know, processes and procedures, and I want to be able to bring this to the audience and, you know, also add who I am, you know, my humor to the space in a way that they can understand it and really get value at the same time. Can I do that? And the answer is yes, right? Because we all have an identity, right? And what most people have done, they've lost their identity, right? What they're operating in right now is mistaken identity. So they're doing what they think they should do because this is what they heard and this guru said this and but God has given us superpowers and gifts. And if we get an alignment with those and cultivate them and really um, align them in our brand, it creates a lane for us. And it makes what we're doing simpler, right? Because it's easy to be who you are. One of the things that I used to struggle with was, you know, sometimes I use big words and I would hear people say, you need to come down, you know, and I was like, no, I'm, that's not what I'm called to do. I'm called to up-level people, right? And so if I keep coming down, how do they elevate up? Why don't I still speak from the space that I speak from, right? Um, and then allow people an opportunity to meet me there. Right. But that 
only came with me understanding who I was as a brand and being okay with it. Now, there is someone whose language is there and it's perfect for that person that needs it, right? But if I wanna talk about mindset shifts and trajectories and things of that nature, even if my client that's ideal, my perfect people, the people who are waiting for me to actually show up at that level, even if they're not there yet, it is gonna resonate in their heart. Do you guys understand what I'm saying? Wow. Because authentically being me, th these are the people I was assigned to, right? And they will hear my voice, they will hear my message, it will it, it'll just ring, it, it, it will connect. And the same goes for you. When you understand, one of the, the first things we work on is who you are as a brand. We talk about identity, right? We do exercises where we're figuring out, okay, what is it that you want to do? And I mean, don't, don't put something just that you think is because you think it's possible. I'm talking about that thing you really, really, really desire. Because those are the things that actually require you to stretch, and if it doesn't require us to stretch, then nothing really changes. Nothing really changes, guys. We just kind of repeat the same thing. We do the same thing um, over and over again. I see uh, a comment. Okay. There's a comment. Okay, so that's our take, guys. I am Tanya Wilson Cherry, the growth strategist, business coach, and mentor to women service-based business owners just like you helping you brand, build, and profit in your business. Create the lifestyles you love. Create futures bigger than your past. If you're looking for clarity to make more money and get your time back, I'm your girl. You can always reach me at renewfullcircle.com. For those of you who are interested in joining the mastermind, the link is on the screen. And I'll say it because I realize it may not pop up on all of the platforms I'm on, but you can go to bit.ly slash mastermind e, fill it out, or hop on a call within 48 hours, and then we'll see how it flows from there to see if you're in alignment with the program that we have and if it serves where you are in this space. Maisha, I thank you so much. Um, one for... Um, you've just, you were an amazing student, whether you know it or not. You were an exceptional um, student for so many reasons. And so it allowed me an opportunity to grow. If I can't grow, I don't want to, I don't want to do it. Right. So it challenges, it challenged the part of me that wants to pacify things because most of us are people pleasers. Right. Most right. of us people pleasers, right? But what happens when you understand who you are and you understand what it is that you are, you know, carrying on the inside, then if you're coaching, teaching, or training, you have to be able to operate in a space and not in a mean way, not in a mean way at all. Now, the person, what they hear may sound mean because they may be offended. We, we're, we're normally offended when we hear the truth first. Right? Right. Um, but we have to, as leaders, all of you are in a leadership position. If you own a business, you have to be able to operate fully in that space. And you have to say, I'm not here as much to make friends as I am to change lives. Right. And that often requires you to move differently. Right. To flow differently, to be um, differently. And Maisha said one thing that I didn't speak on earlier uh, when she talked about how she continued to, to do the work. That's the process of becoming. Remember she said it got easier? That's because she was becoming the person that could operate at that level. Does that make sense to you guys? And that's what it's all about. It's about whatever that thing is that you really desire, becoming the person that could operate at that level. And your um, clarity, for one, being clear on all of the things, and then the consistency that you have with it, you become that thing. It, it becomes second nature, right? It's not as much of a pull, pull or tug because all of this is about you becoming the person that can actually operate on the level of what, whatever it is you're saying you desire, you have to become that person. And so the mastermind allows you 
to walk through that process. And then it gives you the strategies to do it as well. You guys have a super amazing evening. Um, I will be back on next Wednesday. I'm here every Wednesday for Build with Tanya. Sometimes I bring on amazing clients who have amazing businesses, just like Maisha, who are doing amazing things in the world, who are changing lives. Hair loss is um, almost an epidemic, guys, right? So there's so much value in the space that Maisha is operating in, whether it's for her VIP um, clients who come in for treatment or those of you who have had an opportunity to be taught and trained um, underneath her or that is something that you're considering. We're all doing amazing things in the world. When you understand how valuable that is, everything shifts. Everything shifts. Everything you do in the world, your thinking, your thoughts, um, it all shifts, guys. So I'll see you guys next Wednesday. If you haven't liked the page, like it so you can get notifications. Um, everybody tell Maisha how great she is. And um, you guys have a super, super amazing rest of the week until next Wednesday. Peace. Good night.